Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers. Today we're going to work on making a crochet rose. So let's get started. I'm going to use this dusty rose pink here and my three millimeter hook. So what we have to do first is we have to make a chain of 66. Um, remember, the bigger your hook, the bigger your rose will be. So I'm going to use this cute little rose here, this cute small hook, so we can make our rose. So I'm going to chain 66 chains. And for my beginner, the way you make a chain is you yarn over and just pull right through that loop. And that's how you make your chain. So I'm going to continue making my chain. When I come back, I will have 66 chains. Okay, so now I have my 66 chains, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to skip five chains, and in your sixth chain, you're going to make one double crochet. So count down five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and then in that sixth stitch, make your double crochet. Now you're going to skip two chains. That chain counts as a double crochet. So now yarn over and skip two chains and go into your next chain with a double crochet. We're going to make a V stitch in here. So once you make your double crochet, chain two, and then go back into that same stitch with another double crochet. Once you've made your double crochet, go ahead and chain, I mean, skip two chains again and make your another V stitch. So that's a double crochet, chain two. And another double crochet into the same stitch. And just continue doing this across. After you make this double crochet, skip two and make another V stitch. That's a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and I will be back. Okay, so I'm at the last three stitches here, three chains. Go ahead and yarn over and skip your two chains and go into that last chain with a V stitch. Oops. So a V stitch again is a double crochet, chain two, and another double crochet into the same stitch. Now, once you've done your last V stitch, this is what it looks like so far. V stitches across. Go ahead and chain three and turn your work. Now remember your chain counts as a double crochet. So you're going to go into that first chain one space with two double crochets. That's one and two. Now, in your next V stitch, you're going to make two double crochets. So you're going to make a double V stitch. So make a double crochet, make two double crochets without chaining, chain two, and then go back into that same stitch with two more double crochets. So that's a double V stitch there. You don't need to chain, just go right into your next stitch with the same stitch. So yarn over, go into that V stitch from the previous row and make a double crochet, well two double crochets, chain two, 
chain two and then two more double crochets into the same stitch and just repeat this process all the way across so i'm going to keep going into each of my b stitches and i'll be back okay so now i'm back and as you can see it's starting to curl in and that's perfectly normal do not panic we're going to go into this last stitch with my double v stitch which again is the two double crochets chain two and another two double crochets all into that same space now once you've made your stitch here your double v stitch go ahead and turn chain one and turn your work now in each of those v stitches we're going to make seven double crochets just seven double crochets, no chaining. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then in that space in between those two V stitches, right in that middle there, we're going to make a V stitch which is just I'm sorry you're going to single crochet into that stitch there now move on to your next section with that V stitch and make another seven double crochets so that's your pattern for this row in that first V stitch in the beginning you're going to make seven double crochets in your next space in between those V stitches you will make a single crochet and then just keep repeating that across so now that I made my seven I'm going to go in between those two clusters of those V stitches and make a single crochet and just make this pattern all the way across. I'm going to continue making mine and you go ahead and pause and I uh, will be back. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row and in that last chain space there, Go ahead and make seven double crochets. You can slide your stitches over if you need to. Just make sure you get all of those double crochets into that stitch. And once you get there, go ahead and push your yarn over just a little bit. And you're going to go into that chain with a single crochet. It's the same chain space that you put your seven double crochets in. You should have one little chain right there. And go ahead and make a single crochet and chain one. Now we're going to go ahead and cut our yarn off. Okay, so make sure that when you're done, you go ahead and chain one before you cut your yarn off. I'm going to snip this off really quickly. So we can continue on. Make sure you pull that through nice and tight. So now the first thing we're gonna what we're gonna do there's two ways to roll this up. You can either roll it forwards or backwards. I'm gonna roll it forwards just to show you what that looks like with my double crochets facing me, and you just simply roll it around. And as you can see, it's a bit tight, so you can see the petals are facing inward. Um, if you want them to face outward, you can roll it in a different direction. So just keep rolling around. Make sure that middle is in there. It can be a bit tricky, but you just want to make sure that that line, your bottom line, the chain that you made, is lined up with the rest of them and your petals just lay right on top of each other as you continue to roll you can roll it in the other direction if you want to to have the petals um, kind of folding out but i'm just showing you how to do it this way as well there's more than one way and i'm trying to keep that middle section from popping up there so you just push it back down but this comes it takes a little bit of practice just rolling that around but it's fairly easy and then once you get it to the way that you want it to you want to go ahead and start um sewing the back of it i'll be back in a second 
So now I'm going to take and I'm going to roll it the other way with my petals facing in front of me, towards me, instead of to the back. So you want to roll at the end. Start on the end where you don't have your tail because you're going to use your tail to sew everything in. So just go ahead and roll that very carefully on there. I'm going to speed up really quickly because it's simply just rolling, making sure you're keeping that bottom chain nice and even. And I'm just going to keep rolling and I'll be back. So just keep remember to keep rolling and make sure that bottom part is nice and even. And your petals will be facing outward this time, rolling in the other direction. It is so cute. It's a quick easy pattern to work up and then once I once you do it enough times you'll get used to rolling these a lot easier but as always practice makes progress so as you can see those petals are fold, folding outwards now and I'm just trying to fix it to make sure that that bottom section everything is lined up and let's go ahead and start with our uh, sewing in the end so I'm going to go ahead real quick and set up my darning needle here. Just make sure that your bottom row, that chain space, the chains that you made in the beginning, making sure everything is lining up nice and close. This is so cute. I saw this. I saw this video and um, the petals were much bigger. The rose was much bigger, but it was so cute because she made a little um a rose bouquet out of it so i'm just going through these stitches here I just push that one so that that end piece can stay right up against the rose and i'm just trying to adjust these chains here just making sure that everything is lined up it can be a bit tricky in the beginning you know your first one as always when you start something new the first one is a bit off but I think this one came out really good. So now you just take your darning needle and push it through all of those rows that you went around to get over to the other side. Because we want to keep our rows nice and secure. We don't want it to come apart. So drag your darning needle right through those stitches there. And that's pretty much it. You just continue sewing around until you feel comfortable enough. I'm going to finish it off. I think I went through about two or three times just to make sure that it's nice and secure. So I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to show you the end result in a moment. So now I'm just taking those two pieces. I'm cutting off my yarn and I'm taking those two pieces that I have left, those two pieces of yarn, and just making a nice secure knot. It's not going to hurt it on the other side as you can see. Everything is nice and nice and together and looks just like a pretty, pretty rose. Well, it is a rose. So a rose is a rose. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to finish that off. I'm going to sew in these ends here and show you the end. I'll be right back. Okay, so here is our rose. I'm just messing with the petals a little bit. You can spread them out if you need to or keep it close. It's completely up to you. So I want to thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at the Cam Thai Handmade Crochet. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.